Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 8th of 2024 is titled Exoplanet Zoo, Other Stars. So what do we see here? Well, what we see here is a diagram showing many of the exoplanets that have been discovered over the past few decades. And it really has not been all that long since we discovered the first planets outside our solar system just a few decades ago. So back in the early 1980s, we did not know for sure of any planets outside our solar system. And since then, we have discovered now current count is well over 5000 exoplanets discovered. And really, we're learning we've just beginning to scratch the surface of this. There are a lot of planets out there. And we now know for certain that planets are very common in the universe. Now here we see a lot of those and as we look at the images we see different types of planets. We can see the large Jovian or Jupiter type planets that are seen here in the red and tan colors and those are very large gas giant planets. And we are biased in a way towards detecting these larger planets. These and the bluer Neptune like planets are ones that are much easier to detect because they are larger. Now we detect the exoplanets primarily through two methods. One is called the radial velocity method, which makes the star wobble a little bit due to the gravity of the planet. So as the planet moves around the star, it tugs the star in different directions and gives us a pattern that we can then use to deduce the presence of planets around it. Now, the amount of that depends on the gravity of the planet. So the bigger the planet, the easier it's going to be to detect. The other method is the transit method. When a system is lined up just right, the planet may pass directly in front of the star, slightly dimming its light. And how that happens can tell us again about the planet and tell us some of its properties. Now the bigger the planet, the more dimming it's going to do and the easier it is to detect. So in reality, the easiest things to detect are the very large planets. So we tend to be biased towards detecting them first. However, we also start to find many smaller planets now and we're getting to the point where we can start detecting Earth like planets or even smaller around around other stars. So here we can see some of those and if you actually zoom in on the image and look at it on the website, you can see the name of each of the planets printed underneath that. So as to where each of these planets is within the, its own system. Now, as we learn more about these, we're really learning more about planetary formation. The way we thought planets formed and the way this would have been taught decades ago was based on the study of the one solar system known at the time, and that was our own. So in our solar system, we have two very distinct types of planets. We have the very large planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. And we have the four very small planets by comparison at least and that's Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. So there's two very distinct and there's nothing in between. However, when we look out in the universe, we're finding that there are a lot of planets in between. You'll hear about these called sometimes super Earths, so Earth like planets, but they might be two or more times the size of our own Earth. Or sometimes mini Neptunes, Neptune like planets, but smaller than Neptune within our own solar system. So we're really learning that there are different types of planets, things we did not know about and could not learn about within our own system. So as we discover more and more, remember, we're biased towards finding very large planets. We're biased towards finding planets that orbit very close to their stars. Some of these Jupiter like planets orbit around their stars in days or even less. So they are very close whipping around their stars again something we don't see in our own solar system. So really the discovery of all of these has really helped astronomers and is pushing them to new models of planetary formation and how that might work. So that was our picture of the day for July 8th of 2024. It was titled Exoplanet Zoo Other Stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.